And we're back in the Modern Knights with Kristoff and his coterie, who in the last doing installment did battle with the wicked Count Orsi, defeating him by plunging him into the very fires in which he made his fortune. I love that so much, destroying a Ventru, you know, in what they use to make money and what they use to kind of corner their industry. I'm assuming it was steel or manufacturing with Count Orsi. Regardless, Orsi did let slip his plan. Orsi was a very, very big fan of the days before the masquerade, the, the days before the Camarilla and the Sabbat. He wanted Vukudlak to usher in an age where vampires could act however they wanted and not have to hide themselves. Also, he was hoping that if Vukudlak was arisen, when the Antediluvians decided to come in and try whatever, Vukudlak would deal with them. He also wanted Vukudlak to give him some measure of power, which I really don't see. I mean, I also see Vukudlak just rising up, diablerizing everything, and just kind of ruling how he sees fit. So yeah, I mean, Orsi, not a huge fan of his plan, but he worked really hard on it. And I respect that. Dor, nah. I respect his work ethic. I don't really respect him much as a person. So we're going to take our money. How much do we have right now? A decent amount. We're going to sell some things and we are going to return. Now, what I find interesting about Vukudlak, you know, rising from Torpor in New York, I do believe you, I might be wrong on this, that supposedly Zamitsi lies within New York or a similar city. Deep in the sores, somewhere trying to transform himself or work himself out of the vampiric condition. I think I'll um, link a little video I did on this Zemitsi in the descriptions of this video, so check it out. Hey, hey, check this out. <laughs> Ain't these the most beautiful things you ever seen? Why is he selling us a fire resistant suit? Ah, <sighs> I don't like that. I don't like that. Tell me Vukudlak is not like messing with fire. Tell me he has not figured out how to make himself immune to fire or something. Shouldn't be possible, but Vukudlak, I do believe, is like fourth generation, which scares the bejesus out of me. I mean, a fourth generation vampire is pretty scary. Let's see what we can get. Really, what we're looking for is a chain gun. I would love a chain gun. We're not going to be messing with the rocket launcher or the flamethrower because of friendly fire, as well as the grenade launcher, I believe, that that's very capable of friendly fire. Oh, good grief. Okay. First and foremost, Wilhelm is going to be the one selling most of these items. Let's collect what we have. Oh my goodness. How much is this worth? How much is this worth? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I do believe we are in business. So, Sam has a fairly high manipulation, if I'm correct, right? Um, let's go back for a second. Sam is at that 60. 65, so we really should be passing everything to Wilhelm. And we'll have himself on our behalf. So, Wilhelm has an does not have enough room okay just switch those for right now and let's just make a little room i enjoy this inventory style i just wish that items would you know move themselves appropriately you know what i mean really do okay so let's go ahead and sell these items hey Boom. Boom. Alright, and we have... We'll have Wilhelm sell it just because we should be able to get a little more than 6360. Let's really see how much the difference is, right? 6540, alright. Boom. Okay. So Kristoff is wearing a full tactical jacket with 
45 lethal, 60 bashing, 25 aggravated. What do we have? Armor t-shirt, riot shield. We could probably afford better helmets as well. Sap gloves, brass knucks. Just one regular helmet. I mean, honestly, the helmet should do better. What's this? 10 bashing, 10. No, motorcycle helmet is actually surprisingly resilient. Go figure, huh? All right. So we're going to be picking up a chain gun. The person who's going to be using that is definitely going to be Wilhelm. Chain gun, chain gun, chain gun. We have some other disciplines that I would rather prefer Lily and Samuel using. Just not a huge fan of what our boy Willem has. <sighs> a lot of money. Okay, it's all worth it though. Also, Wilhelm, here's a helmet. You might need it. Now let's get some chain gun rounds. Grenade launcher. Magnesium tipped arrows. Where's the chain? Chain gun rounds, here we go. I can carry no more. Remember when I sold all those chain gun rounds? Like, hey, I don't think we're ever going to need them. All right, take her easy. Or when I bought them? Being a dummy? Yeah. Not the best idea. It's alright, though. Honestly, we should sell the silver bracelet. Let's just go ahead and do that. Let's get some more chain gun rounds. Boom. Have enough? Yes! Alright, we have enough for one more. We're gonna have Samuel carry some chain gun rounds as well. Now, the thing about it is... Go ahead and sell that. Is there anyone who could use this jacket? We got the medium ballistic vest. 30, 45, 20. 15, yeah, it's not as good. We'll get rid of that. Sam, I would like you to maybe have one more of those. Nice. So we're not doing fantastic on the armor front. That's all right, we have launch grenades. Ah, uh, maybe I shouldn't have gotten rid of that grenade launcher. Hmm, I feel like we're not going to use it as much because Kristoff is going to be in close combat. Okay. So we got what we needed from him. Are there any more? We'd use revolver rounds. What else? Not much else. We'll get some revolver rounds as well. Revolver, revolver, revolver. I think it's a little bit further up. Okay. Rifle. Launch grenades. Here we go, revolver. Can I get rid of something first? Yeah, I know. The comments are just gonna be <laughs> interesting. JV, you know that's probably not what you need. I know. It's not what I need, but it's what I feel Can like I, I need. Something first. Which probably makes hey, no sense whatsoever. Stranger, you know? We won't. Okay. So Wilhelm is decked out. What is Wilhelm's dexterity? Because we could definitely improve that. It's 75. We're going to try to bump that up right now. We need, what, like 100? 150? <laughs> We're going to need some help here. All right, let's head up to Dev Null's place. Beautiful. Hey, Dev. How you doing? I also wonder if Dev Null is going to say anything different to us. As we enter the wrong area. Well, I do, I do want to talk to Devnell, but let's just go ahead and improve ourselves. Kristoff. So many points. Now, disease is a fantastic condition to put on someone else. Don't think we could do it, though. Shambling hordes, blood magic, cauldron blood. Boils the blood of the touch target. Sounds fantastic. I wonder if Kristoff could get that off against Vukudlak. I'm not entirely sure about that. Lore Flames, Serpentis, nothing really fantastic there. Eh. Cauldron Blood does sound fantastic. 
if we make Vukudlak frenzy, I, I don't think that will end well for us. We got celerity. We'll bump that up again. Okay, and let's move our strength up to 100. Dexterity can't go up any higher. Okay. So let's just move strength up to 100. So that's the max that we could put certain stats in. Good to know. Stamina. Mm. Let's do 185. Well, 100. God dang it. Hold on. 100 here. Okay. We're already hitting 100 here. Maybe that's because of the sword that we're using. I'm not entirely sure. Hit 5 there. Celerity. Okay. Let's go. For you. Hit that 90. We're already doing good on lower flames, I believe. Firestorm. She can maybe hit Celerity. And that's about it. That's all I can think of for her. We're going to keep that there just in case. Dexterity will, bu will be bumped up. Strength will be bumped up a little bit as well. Really? I want to get a little bit more into Mortis. Black Death. Oh! Black Death, we can disease another vampire, which is something that I'm actually really interested in. So, let's go back. We need an intelligence of 70. I'm willing to do that. Just so we could use Black Death once or twice. Now, the question is how that's going to work out. I don't know, but I'm very willing to see. Or I'm very willing to make Samuel. Let's see. So we got Dexterity up. We can increase the strength. We get up Black Death. We'll see. I have this odd feeling that we're going to be coming back. Like this really odd feeling. So 100 on Dex. Okay. That we're going to be fighting. Or we're going to be coming back here because Vukudlak is too freaking powerful for us. Dev, you got anything to say? No. Nah. Okay. I'm sorry. I didn't get to the point where he said oh, my grits are done. Let's go ahead and get back out here. Okay. So we've done some necessary buffs to our characters. We might be able to pick up some nice things. Also, thank you in the comments for talking about disease. There's the shop where maybe we might find something really nice. I'm not entirely sure, but we do have the disposable income right now. And I have a feeling that after we hit up the cathedral, <laughs> the game will most likely be over. I have this odd feeling that Vukudlak, th this is the final countdown. He's not going to run anymore. All right, what do you have for us? Blessed be. Blessed be. Now we're going straight down to bracelet 69%. We have a ring blood cost 80%, 69%. Can you wear both of those at once? We have a heart shield, stake prote So now we get stake protection? Well, no, we need uh, a guard, a neck guard, which we've never been able to find. Blood pool plus 20. I wonder if that's just a flat 20 points. Well, it would say 20% if it was points. Yeah, because we get 80%. If it was plus 20%, that'd be nice. Um, But then again, I don't really know how much that would be. I have never really checked this. They, they shouldn't stack. Silver bracelet. Sixty percent non-human only. Yeah, I have an odd feeling that those do not mix. We'll just take care of that. We do need something for Samuel, 
So I will spend the cash for that. What do we get? Blood cost 80%, 69%. We will pick that up for Sam. Actually, really, Wilhelm can buy it so we get a better deal. Here we go. Bracelet. Save a couple bucks, but hey. Blessed be. We're all about that life. Here you go, Sam. He already has a discipline bracelet, so... This is going to Willem. Fortitude up, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> as well as celerity, so hey. Alright. <sighs> We're doing it. We are off to go face off face Vukid Lack. Had to make a couple changes. We now have the access to Black Death, which I think is the ability's name. I have to check on Samuel again, but I'm very intrigued to see how it works out. Oh, good grief. Sam, let me just check your disciplines. Feral Claws, Cloak of Shadows, Healing, Beckoning, Plague Wind, Summon Soul. We're going to remove Feral Claws, and we're just going to throw down Black Death. Okay. And yeah, we're low on blood. I have a feeling that we're going to be facing off against a couple Zemitsi, and if we're not, that's going to be a bit of a problem. Let's use the Setite save, and we're going to go ahead and hit this up. Alright, Vukud Lack. We're coming. Or I could just go the entirely wrong way. Yeah. Just go the entirely wrong way. Oh, here we go. A little dark out here. But, oh, the Cathedral of Flesh. It is a Cathedral of Flesh. Oh. I hate this meat scene, man. Oh. This is consi considerably less fleshy than I thought it would be. I mean, on the other hand, yeah, there's the whisperings and everything, which I would probably assume would be in the Cathedral of Flesh, but this isn't too bad. Not too bad at all. Okay, um... War Ghouls? Alright, you know what? Let's go. Fortitude... Let's go, people. Okay. So. You know, I'm... Okay, I now understand why everybody in the comments were super happy for this Cathedral of Flesh fight. It's a little rough. That's a lot of ghouls. We're gonna be pulling people. That's what we're doing. Lily, if you could. We're just gonna pull a couple guys, you know? Little towards us. Not go full crazy. Because I think that this is the end of the game, so we could just go and do whatever we want. Because of course we're powerful enough to take on whatever. Okay, did he register? Okay, he's coming. Kotori! Kotori attack! Oh! Okay. See? That's how we need to handle this. Slow and steady. Just like the rest of this playthrough. Get out of here. We're getting clean. Okay, everybody. Follow. Come back to me. And attack with impunity. 
<laughs> See? Christoph? No. We just gotta play it calm. We can take down a ghoul by ourselves. Oh. Run, 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 run. Attack. Okay. There's a Zamitsi. Any more Zamitsi? No. But I am very tempted to activate like light or something. So let's go ahead and do that with our girl. If only I'd registered. Ah! Oh. Okay, guys, cop. Oh! Hold on, hold on, run, Lily! Run! Okay. There's a lot of war ghouls out here. Dominate, presence, lore flames, torch. Here we go. Okay, I don't think torch is really going to provide that much illumination, but let's try it. Not as much illumination as I'd hoped. And it's already almost out. Yeah, this is gonna be- Oh! No, 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 not that thing! Guys? Really? A vas- Vasel? Va whatever it's called! Seriously? Well, hey! I mean, Kristoff gets to say, what, he was one of like four or five <laughs> vampires in the Middle Ages who were able to take out one of those things? And look at him now! He's in the modern ages, doing the exact same. Someone in the comments will have to hit me up with the statistics of... <laughs> How many people have survived a battle with a Vazid? Vazid? Also, hit me up with the phonetic spelling in the comments down below. Anything in this footlocker? Modified assault rifle, we'll take it. Okay. I'm sorry, Samuel. I kind of let you get eaten there. Apologies. Now we're gonna have to awaken him. So! This sucks! This is... This is before Vukudlak, and I'm assuming there's going to be three layers of this. Oh, dude. Also, that whispering's starting to get kind of annoying. In all honesty. Nothing? Over? Okay, fine. Okay, somebody's here. Zamitsi? Alright, let's go. Really? Zlata? Okay, one of you come over here. Okay, didn't mean to do that. There's still another one of you? No? Okay, no. Nah. Kinda wanted Lily to feed a little bit, but that's alright. Let's just have Lily pop up over here. Take a... Please let that not be. That's a war girl. Alright, boys. Get him. Good stuff. Oh, Zlata! That we can't feed off of. I mean, unless you have Theft of Vita. Come on. Good stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Now, somebody around here has to be full of blood. I really did expect the cathedral flush to be a little more fleshy, but... You know what? I'm not... I'm not complaining that much. I was a little... Honestly afraid. afraid. I think I had read somewhere that the cathedral flush was literally made... Out of people. It sounds like it's made out of people. But I'm not upset that it is not made out of people. I don't know if I could have handled that. It's, l it's already creepy enough as is. In all honesty. Rifle clip we really don't need. We could sell it. I know. Because we are going to need that cash. 
Silver coins will pick up. Two dollars of silver coins, by the way. Maybe Kristoff will save them up in one day. They'll be worth five dollars. Okay. I need to save. Every five seconds I need to save. Because we've already run into a Bozid. Bo Bozid? And that's probably not going to be the last. We're on level one, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to get a heck of a lot worse from here on out. I don't like that. Is there any way that we could get down there? How? Oh, goodness gracious. Okay. So we originally start by taking a right or a left. Not sure. Okay. Guess we'll take a right from here, or are we not able to? Kristoff found somebody? Yes, he did! Everyone, oh, Kristoff! Well, I mean, at least he won. I can't be too I can't be too upset about that. Everyone hold your ground. At least Kristoff won that engagement. Anything else? Hello? Zamitsi praying? You know, standard. Okay, that didn't register. One second. There we go! Get ready, get ready, get ready. Where is he? Here he is! Get over here. Did the gelata come? No! I also feel like I'm pronouncing that terribly as well. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Like, what else are we going to find here? I mean, we're definitely going to find a ton of Zemitsi, and I'm assuming we're only really on the base level of the church. We're, we're on the topmost level that looks, I'm assuming, the most human, the most mortal. But as we continue on, we're most likely going to be finding some horrors. I'm both excited and horrifically appalled. Anything else? We got some money. We'll get those two dollars in coins. Hey, it's one dollar in coin. Okay. Modified submachine gun. Somebody. Someone. Okay, Kristoff carries it. We've got a diamond necklace. That's bank. Silver ring. No one can carry a silver ring for real. We're, we're that full up. Wait. Oh, it's a tome of animalism. Okay. Nice. I was hoping that it would just be, um, viscissitude, viscositude, this, however you pronounce it. That's what I was hoping. I can carry no more. Also, we're running out of... space so people in the comments said that hey jb you know it's all right we're not going to get horrifically bored if you just go ahead and walk the abyss to go put some of your items away because you're going to need the income so we're going to do that um walk the abyss and we're going to put some of our items away I, i'm am i am i doing good <laughs> Am I playing well? All I have are research notes in here. Uh, Ponyard. We have a holy statue that's never going to help us. We got scrolls. We got blood. We've got gems, which I'm guessing we will save. Really, we should be putting down some of the bigger ticket items. What do we have here? Sap gloves we're not going to need. These we're not going to need. We'll keep these just in case we just need to go full Scorched Earth against Vukid Lack. Uh, Diamond Necklace, we could sell that. We'll just put it in here. 
You, you, you don't really need the assault rifle. You could, don't really need the submachine gun. Modified shotgun. Is this a modified assault rifle? Maybe we'll pass it to Lily in lieu of her normal assault rifle. Okay. He's good. Summon small... What's that? Just regular elemental. Okay. Fireball. We can put that away. Might need it later on. And we have a Toma Obfuscate. Don't need. Toma Dominate. Super don't need. Well, I'm sure both of them are incredibly useful. And Toma Animalism. Eh. I was hoping for the Zamitsi's trademark discipline. Didn't get it. We don't need brass knucks. I mean, that'd be fantastic, but we don't need, really need brass knucks. Okay. Now, the next enemy we run into, I really want to test out Sam. Let's go ahead and feed a little bit off of Kristoff. Where is he? Okay, there's Kristoff. All right, because I really want to test Black Death. Really want to see how useful that is. It should stop an enemy from feeding, which would be fantastic. If we could hit Vukid lag with it, it'd be even better. Okay. The Cathedral Bowels? They had to call it the Bowels, didn't they? Are locked. Which means we're gonna need a key. <sighs> Great. Well, let's venture on, ladies and gentlemen. Deeper into the Cathedral of Flesh. Now, remember I was talking about, you know, how the whole Zemitsi of the Cathedral of Flesh, probably, you could guess what it's made out of? You hear that? Kind of sounds like a heartbeat, doesn't it? Okay, let's go. Screw it. Black death. Okay. Need blood. Oh, we got gelata. Ugh. Whatever. Okay. So. We've hit this level of the cathedral. We'll take the Moro dagger. Kristoff, chill out. Chi no. No, bad Kristoff. Please join us in the next thrilling installment in the adventures of Kristoff and the Modern Knights as we delve deeper into the Cathedral of Flesh so we can get the key to enter the bowels of the Cathedral of Flesh. Never thought I'd say that. This is probably gonna get quite a bit more creepy thank you all for watching please be excellent to each other hit me up in the comments down below and please <laughs> no don't don't even leave strategies for vukid lack you know exactly what's gonna happen when we run into them please be excellent to each other and have a nice day peace oh and good evening neonates duh